So the most common question that I get asked usually at the Vinyl Garage events is, Toby, what record player should I buy? And my answer is, it doesn't really matter. The one that you think is best for you. And which one would that be? I'm gonna explain to you now. If you're getting started with vinyl records, you will need a record player. So if you don't know which one to get, is it a new one or a vintage one? It comes down to these three things. Acoustic, optic, haptic. Not necessarily in this order. That all depends on you. I will give you some examples of what I mean with these three subjects. Acoustic, probably the most important for the vast majority. You'll have to decide, uh, are you gonna start small with only spending a two digit amount of money and then maybe upgrading later? Or are you gonna spend three or even four digits on your first turntable? For me, I've bought a lot of turntables and I've never spent more than a three digit amount. I use my record players on a daily basis at work and at home and I usually do other things besides my music listening. So my recommendation for beginners is just buy a crappy two-digit turntable, preferably get a Technics SL QD 33 or something like that. Usually it's just a bunch of plastic, but they're very reliable. Usually you just have to change uh, the needle, the system, and that's about it. And then you're good to go. They're auto adjust, so you don't have to worry about anything. You just hook it up and let that little sucker play. In fact, my first turntable was a SLD22, uh, I suppose. I still have it. I would never ever sell it, but it's in storage. Once in a while, I dig it out and I use it at one of the Vinyl Garage events. Now, these prices are estimates. They're for used vintage turntables. So if you're out buying one, it will depend on your ability to bargain with the seller what you're actually gonna pay for it. There's other factors that determine the price of a turntable, the overall condition, does everything work? Look at the system. Is there any scuffs or dings? Does it come with a lid? How are the cables? If you don't want to go through this hassle, you're probably better off just going out and buying a brand new turntable. Nowadays, even supermarkets carry turntables again, so you shouldn't have a problem finding one. Now, when it comes to the look of a turntable, there is only two versions. There's ugly, and then there's beautiful. Which one is which? It's up to you. When it comes to the feel of a turntable, there's three types of models. There is the fully manual, auto stop, and fully automatic. So with the fully manual, you will have to do everything yourself. You will have to pick up the arm and put the needle on the record. And when the record is done, or one side is done playing, you will have to stop the record by taking the arm back to its rest. With the automatic stop, the record player will stop playing and lift up the arm after the side is done. And with the full automatic, you won't have to do anything yourself except for hitting the start button. So it will start the record by itself 
and then when the side is done playing it will move the arm back to its rest automatically and then you can probably program it to go on auto repeat and some have an infinite on repeats and others have a number you can set on how many times the record should be played so if you're at home in your living room chilling on the couch and you have automatic and you set that on repeat you will have unlimited repeats of music whether the manual or the auto stop will stop at the end of the record you will have to get up and take the needle off the record because it will keep on spinning at home i have this beautiful luxman pd284 it looks gorgeous but it's either a absolutely manual or a auto stop turntable so i put it on so i put it on the auto so i put it on the auto stop but when it when it stops it makes this funny it makes this funny sound and it's so loud that if you're chilling and you listen to this uh, relaxed record it will wake you up when the arm is lifted up so that's what I mean with the feel of a turntable it has to feel right to you and that's something you will have to experience for yourself. I guess the resume of this video is no matter what kind of record player you want to get, you will have to get it in order to find out if you like it or not. Especially with the vintage ones because you can't just go to a store and test it. So you'll have to buy it in order to play around with it. With that said, you're welcome to join one of the next Vinyl Garage and check out your turntable you might always wanted. See ya!